So the Secure Act 2.0 was passed, and there's some things that are more applicable for individual participants that are employer plans, and some things that are more applicable for the employer. So this video is about the employers themselves, and if you're a plan sponsor and have a 401k, some things you might wanna know about in managing that 401k. So for example, uh, number one is the startup cost tax credit. This is something that's been retroactively applied go, going back to basically 2020 on. So if you started a 401k in the last two to three years in that kind of range, you might qualify for some tax credits that you didn't qualify before. So it's just a good thing to know and ask your CPA maybe after April 15th, but ask them, hey, is there any, are there any tax credits that I might qualify for now with this plan that I didn't previously you know, cash in on, on a different you know, Secure Act 1.0, for example. So that's one thing to know about. The next thing to know about uh, actually starts in 2024. So this goes into uh, action December 31st, 2023, both of these things, next two. So number one is you can now, if you choose, it's completely optional but you can choose to match uh, student loan payments by your participants, your employees. So there, the details are still gonna be you know, coming out on this, but basically if someone pays down their student loan debt, you can then match that as well as an incentive. So that is something that's now incorporated into the Secure Act 2.0. And the other thing that's also coming into play in 2024 is there some changes in the discrimination or non-discrimination testing technically. So if there's excludable employees, so these are people that are under 21, don't have a year of service, uh, maybe are family members, there are some, some rule changes around that when it comes to the uh, discrimination testing that you may wanna know about. So it's mostly applying to 401k plans that are non-safe harbor plans that have that scrutiny of uh, discrimination, top heavy testing. So the uh, fourth area, these are things that um, also come into play uh, more recently. So it's a Roth employer contribution. If you want to, you can elect to match your employees, not in pre-tax dollars anymore, but in Roth dollars. So that's a way that the contribution that you're making from the employer is going to be taxed and then can grow for that employee um, indefinitely uh, tax-free until they take it out in the future. So it's a, a nice thing to think about. If you do put it into place, you definitely are gonna to wanna to give your employees a lot of heads up to what the tax implications are for them. If they're getting three, four, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 in match, then suddenly, they're having their 22, 24, whatever that income tax bracket rate applied to that, they're going to pay more in taxes. So they'll just have to account for that when they're doing their withholding. Another thing to uh, kind of come into play is the uh, automatic enrollment in the future. So in new 401k plans, 403b plans, uh, they're all going to be required starting basically in 2025 to be automatically enrolled. So if you have someone that participates, they don't opt in, they're automatically opted in and they have to opt out. They have to say, hey, I don't want to put money into this 401k plan. So that's something that's a few years down the road, but it's in this bill, in this law now. And then the other part is the change of uh, determination for what a long-term part-time employee is. So Secure Act 1.0 said, if you have long-term part-time employees that worked at least 500 hours in consecutive three-year period of time, they have to be inclu included on the 401k plan. Well, the, uh, the rules changed a little bit and now instead of three years, it's now two years. So if that's the situation you find yourself, you might have some people that are now uh, eligible for participation that weren't previously. That's also something that goes into place in 2025. So just something to think about down the road. So if you have any questions about this, I'm sure I'll be here to answer any questions as more is explored, but just wanted to give you some pointers as we're uh, peeking under the hood as to what this new uh, law really means. Thanks for watching and take care.